Hi everyone. First of all, I want to apologize for the terrible lighting in here. It is a dark, cold, and gloomy morning. I kid you not, it is 48 degrees right now, and it's the beginning of June. Yeah, I don't understand the weather right now. I refuse to turn on the heat. I, I just don't want to. It's June. It should be like 70 degrees by now. Anyway, today I want to talk about how I stay organized every day. And this is still a bit of a work in progress, but so far this has been working for me. Planners have never really worked for me. It was always inconvenient whenever something changed. I had to either cross something out or erase and it just looked messy and it bothered me. I wanted to come up with something a lot cleaner and I was actually inspired by another YouTuber that I've been watching for years now. I think it was last year when Kalel posted a method of planning and I was really inspired by that. I really liked the way she did it. Unfortunately, the video is not up on her channel anymore, but regardless, I will link her channel down below. She has a bunch of other fun videos to watch, including what I ate today videos. Those are one of my favorite videos to watch. Her videos give me a lot of ideas. Anyway, I will show you my planner. So this is my big whiteboard that I bought a couple years ago, and I never really used it until recently. It lives in this room in my house, which is, I guess, what you would call my studio. Um, I would love to hang it up, but unfortunately I don't have anything yet to hang it up. So at the top it says this week, and I just put the month up here. It has all the days of the week, Monday through Sunday. I write down each of the days, and I circle what day is the current day, which today is June 6th that I am filming this video. I use post-it notes rather than writing on the board because the columns are so small and the markers are so big that I think it would just look messy and I would have to go through erasing things if things changed, etc. I mainly just write down my work schedule and my dance rehearsal schedule so that way I can plan other things around it. For example, today, June 6th, I have work from 11 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I always write down the time, what it is, and where it is. And knowing that information today, I was able to make time this morning to clean, go grocery shopping, and film this video. I also reuse a lot of the sticky notes because a lot of them repeat, especially my work schedule repeats quite a bit. So I keep some extras on my shelf back there. I don't think you can really see, but I have like three sticky notes back there. I don't always have to write a new one, I can just remove the old one and put either write a different one if I don't have one that's already there, or if I have one that's there, I can just take the other sticky note and stick it on. I change this every day, so tomorrow I'm going to change the 6 to a 13 and I'm going to circle the 7th. Then I'm going to look at my work schedule and my dance schedule for the 13th and either write new sticky notes or reuse old ones and stick them on there. I really like this way of organizing because it's easy and clean. The only thing I wish that I could do would be to go two weeks ahead of time instead of just one so that way I can plan more things in advance. But so far this works. Um, like I said, this is a work in progress. I will change things around and maybe in another month I will completely change how I organize things. Right now it just lives back here since I can't hang it up. So that is my current system of how I stay organized. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Also be sure to subscribe to Kalel. She gave me inspiration for this system. I have her linked down below and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!